So your two finger in your left hand is going to be starting on this F, and your three finger in your right hand is going to be starting in this F. And they're playing in unison like this. F, D, B flat, D, F, B flat. So that's just the first part. One, two, three, one, one, two. Um, I'm going to leave it to you to figure out the rhythms because there's just too much to go over. But imagine sort of like a little bit of a stutter step. Ba, 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 ba. All right. So that first part, one more time. F, D, B flat, D, F, B flat. All right. Now, I kind of tricked you a little bit and lied. That B flat, you don't play in unison. Your right hand does play. But you're going to switch to this chord. Right? So you've got the first one, two, three, four, five. The first five notes are in unison, and then you switch to this chord. So your left hand is playing a G and a B flat, and your right hand, and I'm playing with my one, uh, my two and my one, and my right hand is playing a D and a B flat with my one and my five. So all together, nice chord, all right? Next part. Now you're gonna slide like this. Oh, it's not horrible. D, uh, D and uh, A with your left hand, and I'm playing uh, with my one, uh, my five finger and my one finger. And with your two and your five, I recommend uh, G flat and a well, let's call this an F sharp and a D. And what you're gonna do here. I'm rolling. You probably don't want to actually roll. If you want to play it exactly the way it's written, you don't roll. I just like to dress things up, so ignore my my dressings. Five two, uh, two five, and then you're gonna drop down this five finger to a C. It really helps to sing along when you do this. Oh say can you see? All right. So, you'll remember that you initially played this chord, that was the first chord you played, and you're going to get back to that after you go, by the dawn. So, dawn's is the same chord. Uh, G and B flat, D and B flat. Dawn's Earl. So, the dawn's Earl, you're going to basically just double up what your thumb was playing. Dawn's Earl. And in the meantime, with your your one and your four like this, you're gonna play um, a B flat and a G. So you remember this two was already playing that G before, right here. So you're gonna keep that G where it is. Uh, ignore my dog; he's wimp. He's dream whimpering. Dance early. Uh, oops. Dance early. So Lee is a C and a B flat. Right here, so you've got uh, a C and a B flat, flat in your left hand, and a C and an E in your right. And you sort of. And so your two finger is going to switch over to a three on an F here. So your right hand is playing a C and an F with your one and your three, and and your right hand finishes with an F and an A in your left hand. So it's like an F chord, if you can see that. So let's do a quick review. First chord is right here. All right, and then you switch to this thing. Walk down, back to that chord. Thumb, and you keep this two finger where it is. Okay, now you're gonna play a C and an E here. And a C and a B flat in your left hand. And this spreads out, and this contracts to an F chord. All right, so. Um, this next part, uh, what are the words? What's so proud? So what's so proud? What's so, your two and, your, both of your two fingers are gonna be bouncing on octave Fs. What so, and now you're gonna leave your two there again and your five is gonna come up to this D. 
So let me show you the right hand first. What's so So what's so proud? Proud is an F and a D. And then Lee is like a transition. Your left hand is just going to play a C. And then you're going to play a D and a B flat with your one and your five. We hail. And then a C and an A. Uh, now the thing about fingering is play whatever feels right. I'm giving you guides that are written in by hand on the sheet music attached, but if it doesn't feel right, just switch it for you. You know, your hands might be different. All right. Uh, so while your right hand is doing this, your left hand is doing this. So it's kind of like F, F, B flat, F and B flat, F, F. So this, this left hand is all about Fs and B flats. So watch, I'll go really slow together. F, F. Now you're gonna go up here while these go to B flats. And then down. Oops, sorry. Now you're gonna add both here, F and a B flat. Well, this is playing a D and a B flat. And you're going to conclude down with a C here, and an A here, and an F here. Uh, you could think about this as playing another F chord, but it's all spread out kind of nicely. Alright? Uh, let's just do a really quick review of that last part, because we're almost done with this section. So, Fs, B flats in your left hand, spread out here. Walk down to that C, oops, <laughs> uh, D and B flat while you switch to B flat and F here, and then just the F here, basically playing that F chord. All right, now the last part sounds like this. All right. So what's really going on there? And a G, an A, and a B flat while you're descending in your left hand, you're descending E flat. So the, the G and the A are for the same length as just this E flat. And then, and you spread out. And the chord that you're spreading out in your left hand, you're playing a, a D and a B flat. I'm playing with my four and my one finger. And in my right hand, an F and a B flat. And this is, and I'm getting my fingers out of the way, but you really want them out like this. At the twilight. So you basically play that chord twice. Twilight. Last. So on last, you're switching to um, a D and an F in your right hand. Last. And octave B flat in your left hand. Last. Glee. Glee from Gleaming is a B flat and a D with your one and your two, and a B flat and an F with your uh, left hand. Gleaming. And then simply end on B flats with whatever your fingers were. So your five in your left hand and your one in your right hand. That's the whole part that I'm showing you for today. I'll do a really slow run through and then I'm going to let you go practice. But it sounds like this. So if you can learn that part, the next part is exactly the same. Broad stripes and bright stars, yada, yada, yada. Do the parallelist fight. And so I'm going to make a separate video for the next part because it's a little bit more involved. But that's the first part. I hope it helps. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.